This is Mario Romero with the Melcher Agency. Today, I will be talking about what experts are saying about future home prices. Like most of you, I am here in my office. I'm hunkered down, and but I still have clients that I'm working with on a daily basis. So here goes, and I hope you enjoy my report. As the worldwide pandemic and an economic recession have had a ter have had a tremendous effect on the nation, there's a lot of uncertainty uncertainty on both predicting consumer behavior, which is nearly impossible, and because of that reason, forecasting home prices has become extremely difficult. Norm normally, there is a simple formula to determine the future price of an item: supply and demand. And right now, demand for homes exceeds supply. Mortgage applications are at an all-time high in the last all-time high in 11 years. And then inventory of homes for sale is an all-time low. Now that would normally indicate a strong appreciation for home value that we move throughout the year. But we went into a three months reset. So we're catching up and clearing out what was going to happen the last three months. And then some experts are not convinced the current rush of purchase of purchases is sustainable. And then we have the virus and other challenges currently impacting the industry. And they've created a wide range of thoughts regarding the future of home prices. Here's a list of analysis and their projections. And they run the whole gamut from lowest depreciation to the highest depreciation. <clears throat> Core logic, which a lot of real estate industry use, people use, and year over year they've they expect a decline of 1.5%. Zillow, their year-over-year -year change is forecasted to be bottom out at about 0.7%. Fannie Mae expect an increase of 0.4% in 2020. Freddie Mac expect an increase of 2.3% in 2020. The National Association of Realtors they expect an increase of 3.8% in 2020, and the Mortgage Bankers Association expect an increase of 4.0 in 2020. And we can get two important points from this list. There is no real consensus among the experts, and no one projects prices to crash like they did in 2008. And keep in mind, this is what they anticipate for 2020 over 2019. They've not even started to predict what 2021 will bring. So a summer outlook, we're going to we're going to go into a slowing recovery, and it's going to be it's going to be waiting in the wings, probably towards the end of the year. Housing so far has been has had a strong recovery, and expert, experts experts say prices may actually fall later this year because we have factors such as unemployment and foreclosures could also weigh down the market. Now talking about unemployment. During the reset, most employers said they were probably going to bring 75 to 80 percent of their employees back, which will leave 25 to 20 percent of people unemployed. And that may lead into the next piece, which is foreclosures. So we're going to have an increase in unemployment. Some people will have a difficulty making their payments. But unlike the last time, we do, people have equity in their homes. So there may be an increase of foreclosures, but we're not going to go into the situation we had the last time where people were upside down in their homes. So people that have difficulty, lost their jobs, unemployment will be selling, which will reset the, which will increase the inventory, but they will be selling at market prices, not at uh, short sale prices like we did the last time. So that overall is good. And the pandemic has taken a toll on the economy, but we're having the real estate. Real estate in general has not fallen off the cliff, and while things aren't completely back to normal, the consensus among housing economists is that looking back over the last few months, things have been heading in the right direction. And despite all the things that could trip up the market, unemployment, foreclosure, another virus outbreak like we're having here in Arizona, the experts at least don't see a complete apocalypse on the horizon. Now, I'm not going to say that the housing market has gotten off to completely free in this recession. 
but I think we're better positioned and it's not going to be the trick for a recession this time the way it was the last time. Bottom line, so we still have a long and difficult journey ahead. It appears the worst for both the economy and the unemployment situation may be in our rearview mirror. Remember, mortgages rates should stay low through the end of the year and early next year. And prices may drop a bit. And I say maybe, depends on where you are in the country, you're probably looking at anywhere from 1 to as high as 5%. So, I'd like to thank you for joining me today. I'd like to remind you to be kind, be safe and healthy, and keep in touch with your loved ones. As always, if you need anything from us, give us a call. Let us know how you're doing. Let us know if there's anything we can help you with. We are here for you as we have been throughout the years. We are all in this together. This is Mario Romero with the Romero & Company at the Melcher Agency. Signing off. Make it a great 